Marty Fuentes, let's first get your thoughts on the 90 minutes overall after a 2-0 victory over Hull City today. Well, first of all, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy for the guys, for our fans, because it was a very important game for us as well. And yeah, it's a big achievement uh, to, to get three wins in a row um, and especially build that, that feeling that we can be really strong at home. Um, we play against a very good team uh, that move the ball quick, that they have good positioning in the pitch, that is not easy to press against. And yeah, we try to use our moments. I think we had some periods that were good on the ball, some others that we struggled more to keep it. But uh, and the overall, I think that by far for me, probably uh, the most demanding game we have played in terms of the level of the, of the opposition. Said that, all the credit to the players. They work really hard. We were quite clinical into the situations we got, especially to score this fantastic first goal with Chrissy in a moment. Just before the half time, it's always important to get confidence into the team. And as well, yeah, I think the bench impact today, once again in the second half, was very, very good together with the supporters. I think that, yeah, we're building something, something at least that uh, being very humble, taking a step by step, but at least a team that is difficult to beat. We'll talk about the goals in a moment, particularly the first one for, for Chris, which is sensational. But the effort rate off the ball, back to back clean sheets as well against two very good sides that score goals in the Skybet Championship. And, and the way you defended as a unit, all 11 men, must be really impressive to you. It's all the credit to the guys because they are committed and actually on the defensive phase there is a lot about, of course, understanding some concepts, positioning, but mostly it's about as well the attitude and the, the focus and they kept it for 95 minutes, 97 today. So I think that we need to give credit to the way those guys, um, it's not easy to turn a situation as when I arrive after some period without wins, mentally it's not easy and what they are doing, it's, it's really extraordinary. But once again, we need to be very humble because we are still in a very difficult situation. Now it's very easy just to get very happy but we need to remember that there is a new game on Wednesday that we're going to need all of them. So we need to, to recharge, we need to refuel, we need to, to recover and then we're going to need our supporters as well because they are key part on what, whatever we're going to succeed, uh, we're going to achieve at the end of the season. And you had Asmir Begovic rolling back the years as well. Didn't look 36 when he makes three saves like that in the second half, does he? Well, I guess that he's showing that you don't play at the level he played for many, many years just because of a bit of a luck. He's a, he's a top, top, top keeper at this level. I think that he's showing not only that, but how great professional he is, a big role model for all of us, for the lads as well. And in that sense, uh, yeah, it's key to have a keeper that can save points for you as well. So I think that most of the shots today, or some of them were coming from some distance. He showed incredible quality, but at the same time, uh, yeah, that helps to have the quality not only on him, but on Chrissy. Last week, was Ili, so we got very important players in the squad in, in a good shape actually. Yeah, and the depth showing from the impact the substitutes are making. We had Ilias against Preston, of course, with two assists, and Sinclair Armstrong, the effort rate to chase that down to create that second goal that came at an important time in this game. Yeah, and once again, it's showing that we need to use them in, in the right moment, at the right uh, time of the of the game as well. But um, that, that we have options as well. I want to praise today, Cook came from being on the bench in the last game, I think. He didn't make any any single mistake. He was amazing on on the ball and defending. I think that that shows that there is a lot of quality in this squad, and then it's my job to try to use it in the best way. I asked you after the first game against Rotherham if we were seeing signs of Marty Cifuentes football. Is that today Marty Cifuentes football? Or is there still even more to come? I, I hope that we can get better on everything. I think that we want to have more of the ball. I think we're going to create, we want to create even more chances to concede even more. But as I said, it's not easy. We play against good teams as well, with good coaches, with good players. And today, what I'm most satisfied is, is about the spirit. Even if it was minute 93, we're trying to press high. Sometimes it's possible, sometimes not. But the, the idea, the desire is there. And that for me, that shows a lot of courage from the players that they don't want just to score a goal and, and, and lay down, but to try to keep chasing the third one, try to keep pushing. And, and in that sense, the supporters have been really, really good to give us this, this small edge as well. That energy from the stands is, is really important. He certainly sent a lightning bolt of energy into the stands with that Chris Willock goal. Out of the eight goals in the last three games, is that perhaps the best one you've seen so far? It's one of the good signals, but as well, uh, yeah, to have two clean sheets, to concede very few, uh, actually, I would say, chances against perhaps today a little bit more. But in the last games, we have not conceded many. So I think that that shows that there is a team that is trying to grow through an idea, through an identity. And yeah, once again, we need to keep on working because there are some things that we need to improve. Actually, yeah, I think that we can get better in almost everything. But it's a good starting point to, to believe that we can compete at this level and that we can just get better.
And just finally, there's a lot of home games coming up, but there's two massive games coming up as well in the battle down at the bottom. Plymouth, obviously, in the week next week, and then away against Sheffield Wednesday. Three wins is fantastic, but I guess it's your job now to keep everybody focused. That's it, because now we're going to make a big mistake if we think that we're going to get just five wins in a row because we play against teams that are in the low power of the table. I think that that's not the reality in football. So, as I said before, now it's three wins in a row. It's not going to help us at all to achieve the next one. Perhaps the confidence of the players will be better, fine, but in the moment that you relax 1% in this league, you are done. You are done. So we need to be very sure that we prepare very well this game against Plymouth, that we need to keep improving some areas of our game and that it's going to be a really, really, really difficult game. And yeah. What we want is just to get another strong performance here at home, but to be aware that, that there is a lot of work to do. Congratulations, Marty. Enjoy the third win in a row. Though. Thank you. Thank you.